What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house. Sorry it took me so long to get a video made, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. But today we're gonna to be talking about uh something that caught my interest in the new in the season two uh opening of Unordinary and all that. It's when John was in the principal's office and everything with Vaughn. Uh Vaughn stated to John, he's like, listen here, John. He's like, he's like, when you entered Wellston, you were granted certain privileges and he was like in the last couple of weeks you have sent multiple students to the hospital and all that he said but i where i draw the line is is that brutalizing all of the royals now that struck me as well the most thing that struck me as the most interesting was you were granted certain privileges me and some other people obviously were like what are those privileges that you are uh, talking about um sir uh, please do explain go on and elaborate on this set of privileges that my boy John was granted because uh, to me it didn't seem like he was granted any privileges it just seems he was granted a beating every day you know, I'm just saying that's just me personally but you know <laughs> we we're not gonna talk about that because we uh, we know how that ended <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> but, but no, it struck me as interesting because I was like, I thought I started thinking, it's like, what might those privileges have been? Because we know that the principal Vaughn, as I call him, that's not how you pronounce his name, but get over it. Uh, he he does know about John's past. He knows exactly about John's. Um, he knows everything about John up to the point of New Boston and all that. So. John having a, a 10.0 ability and all that, and, and his ability or manipulation is not, it's nothing new to the principal and all that. And uh, like I said, as the gear started turning, I was like, you know, I always wondered how did John even get in Wellston? Now, we all know Wellston is a very prestigious school and it's a private school at that. Um, so, and we know that you have to have good grades on top of an abil a good enough ability to get in. I feel like the only reason John got in is A, because of his ability, because it was a 10.0, and two, also because of the fact that he's a late bloomer. Because also in that same chapter, after uh, Vaughn dismissed uh, Rajan, the guidance counselor, I can't remember his name or whatever, uh, was talking to the principal. He was like, you need to stop giving John these special privileges and all that. He doesn't have the same mindset as the rest of us do because he's a late bloomer. And the principal and Vaughn states he's like yeah, that's exactly what we need at this school now that also struck me as weird because we all well I don't know I I feel that uh, he is plotting something what it is I don't necessarily know um, but I don't feel like I don't feel like he's a good guy but I also don't feel like he's a bad guy I feel like whatever he's planning um, it could go either way but you know we'll see as the story progresses and everything hopefully we'll get that kind of soon but he's like yeah is that he's like we need more people in this school like john and what i took from this is that i need we want i want more people in this school who who have seen both sides of the spectrum someone who's been at the bottom and then also rose to the top can see like you know can see how the other side lives john uh, used to before John got his ability I'm assuming he he was actually considered a cripple and he probably did receive beatings and he was shunned and all that like normally a cripple would be and then his ability or manipulation finally manifested itself and I still even though John went too far with some of with his uh, old school and beating his whole class half to death I feel like a lot of them gassed him up when he finally got his ability they were like oh and someone were just a bunch of uh kiss asses and we're just trying to make sure they didn't get uh beaten up they're like oh man your ability is so cool man you can do this that you know you're the top of the you're creme de la creme you're the top of the heap you're the king around here and it went to his head and on top of the beatings he got he was like you know what yeah yeah i can do yeah i am the king around here i'm running this piece now y'all gonna learn how it feels to get your ass kicked too every day 
and that's ultimately how John became the person that he is. I mean, he, I, I don't know how he was before he got his ability. He might have been very timid and probably still a little bit nice, but, you know, power uh, sometimes goes to your head and corrupts you and all that. That's what happened with John, as we know. Uh, but also, after that, we know that the government stepped in. Keon came, took John to a, a I don't know, I can't ever remember. It was like rehabilitation, lessons, torture, pretty much. John suffers from PTSD and all that. So, and then also after that, uh, and after Keon took him away, John decided to go to a uh, Wellston. Still, like I said, I think the only reason he got in is because of what he did at school. Uh, Vaughn caught on to that. And because his power level is a 10.0. And before John probably came in, he was like, we can we can advertise. We are the top school. We have a student that's 10.0. Until John hit him with the, no, let, I'm going to pretend to be a cripple because I don't. Because when I, when I go, you know, when I go, when that blood starts go, uh, going, I don't stop. I'm, like, I'm no good for the hierarchy and all that. And, and Vaughn. Vaughn definitely has old ulterior motives and everything. Like I said, we just don't know what they are and everything. But yes, yeah, so that I feel like that's why uh, he granted John such privileges. Now, what uh, those privileges are exactly? Didn't elab- he? They didn't elaborate on. Them, but I feel like Vaughn told John, "This is like, look, let's not pretend like you don't have powers. You can come in here and you can pretend to be a cripple all you want." But you know that's gonna bring some heat on you because it's per nature of the hierarchy and society as a whole. That's just what happens. So when he say so on those days where you just really can't take it and you just need to, you know, haul off on somebody, go ahead and do it. And then when you do, tell me or one of the faculty members. Oh, actually, I still don't. I, I'm still on the fence about if all of the uh, staff at the Wellston knows about John's ability. Uh, but I, right now, I'm just gonna go on a limb and say the only people that know are Darren, the guidance counselor, and uh, Vaughn. I, I'll just say that and everything. So yeah. W- so let, let me rephrase this. So when you haul off on someone when you're having a bad day or whatever, you know, teenage hormones and uh, hijinks and everything, uh, just let one of us know. We'll take him to the hospital and we'll keep this, you know, hush hush on the down low. Now, like he said, he said where I draw the line is you beating up on the royals because you decided to pretend to be a cripple i can't and uh, from what it sounds like it sounds like like the rankings of schools and all that is like public knowledge like you can go and look this up like who are the top stu- who are the royals at wellston academy who are the uh, royals at Ogwen academy whatever uh, uh schools are, el- are out there and everything and you and you know Vaughn's like we have a reputation to keep up even though I'm pretty sure he doesn't care about the hierarchy, he seems like he wants to either get rid of it or tweak it to his own benefits. And once again, I'm, when I get more info on Vaughn, trust me, there's going to be a whole video about him because he's a very interesting character to me and all that. But, so yeah, he was like, you, you can't do this to the Royals. Got to keep up reputation. I can't say, hey, I can't broadcast all our Royals got beat. Who they get beat by? A cripple. What? Hold up. Wait a minute, sir. Aren't you the top aren't you the top high school in whatever region that y'all are in yeah and you mean to tell me that all your roy's gonna beat up by a cripple boy no the reputation down (laughs) down the hole no be the laughing stock of everywhere and i'm pretty i wouldn't doubt it if other schools came around there and just started terrorizing i wouldn't put it past any of these people in this universe and all that so yeah that's that's what i feel like the the privileges were um, because I think the I think Vaughn even said it's like we've been we've been keeping this on the down low. We've sent to we sent them to the hospital. and We told them to shut up about it. Because also one thing I noticed too, there's a hole in this, but still. So most of the people that John has fought, like that weren't like main, like they weren't really important to the story, haven't come back. Uh, like when John beat up uh Zeke. I don't think we've seen Zeke since uh, he has uh, been beaten. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Obviously, let me know down in the comments below and all that. Also, um, make sure you hit that like button because it really helps out. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we did no like. There's a hole because I don't think we saw Zeke. We did see Junie because uh, Eisen interviewed her. Um, 
obviously we saw Eisen and Blake because they're the main cast, so they just can't disappear. Um, but most of the time, like even Vent, well, no, uh, we did see Ventus and Millie again, but before that, the only the only time we've seen them since uh, their beating was when Serafina got kidnapped and Arlo was like, you know, be on the lookout for that. It's the only time we've seen Ventus and Millie. So, you know, my, never mind. That whole thing is debunked. So, never mind. So, yeah. Uh, we have seen some of the people that John has beaten up uh, since their, uh, you know, since their execution, virtually. Uh, well, besides, like, Win K and all them, but let's be honest, who, who wants to see her? And Krolik and all them again, I don't. They make me sick. They can stay gone forever. You know, that we got room for better characters, like Evie. And Evie. The only person I can think of. <laughs> no, Evie. Actually, I want to see Cecile again. Oh, wait, take that back. I know for a fact we're going to see C Cecile again. So, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, Tell me, what what do you guys think those uh, special privileges that John was granted? Like I said, I think it was like, look, man, when you need to blow off some steam, go blow off some steam. Let us know. We'll handle it. And your secrets say, but like uh, Vaughn said, I draw the line at you beating up on my royal simply for the fact that we have to keep up appearances and reputations and the government is already breathing down our neck, mainly for the fact that you brought that stupid book here and everything. And the fact that your father is also the author of the book that got banned across the whole, was it the whole country? I think the whole country, I think that book is banned throughout the entire country. He can't read it and all that. So it's like, come on, man, you're really, you're really causing me problems here. And even though Vaughn told Keon them to pretty much uh, get out unless you got a warrant from like the top brass, uh, you ain't stepping one, you, you're not gonna lay another finger on my students. Good on him for that. I really, I really respected Vaughn for that. But yeah, guys, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, So, yeah, as you know, tomorrow is the chapter for an ordinary, so be on the lookout for that. I am super excited and everything. Um, I will address some some issues with like the fast pass and all that going on tomorrow. But you guys, um, this video has been long enough. Y'all know how I am. I ramble. But guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, night, or evening whenever you're watching this video. And also make sure you that you like and share this video. And oh, I actually almost forgot. So I'm doing a new thing with my videos. So. I don't know, my camera just stopped working for some reason. Anywho, so like I was saying, if you want to be shouted out on my videos, this is how you do it. You have to share this video on Twitter, and then you have to tag me in it. And that way, and so anyone that does that, I will shout you out in the next Unordinary video that I do, whatever it may be, whether it be the chapter or the discussion videos that uh, I like doing y'all but yeah that's all i wanted to say so do the stuff that i normally tend to do like comment subscribe share it on twitter and tag me in it so you can get a shout out and with all that being said it's shit boy fox